You're listening to a special podcast interview from Wind Power Engineering and Development. Hey everyone, I'm Kelly Pickerel, Editorial Director of Renewables at WTWH Media, the parent company behind Wind Power Engineering and Development Magazine. And today I'm here with Brian Warmerdam, who is Product Manager of Rad Torque Systems for a special Manufacturer Spotlight podcast interview. Rad Torque Systems is a Canadian company that makes a range of torque wrenches for many industries, including the wind power industry. So thanks for talking with me today, Brian. Thanks for having me. So today we're going to discuss a bit more about innovative torque technology for the wind industry. So Brian, what products does Rad Torque have that are exclusive to the wind industry? Well, marketed, exclu- not exclusively maybe, but um, for the wind industry is mainly our ERAT, which is our electronically controlled torque tool. And this has all the bells and whistles that are required by both uh, manufacturers of wind tower assemblies, actual assemblers of towers, um, as well as the data capture that you really want to um, kind of bring forth to the owners and managers of uh, the wind power sites. Okay. What demands have you seen specifically related to the wind industry and and how is Rad Torque Systems adapting to those demands? I think there's two big paths that the wind industry is taking as far as the construction of the towers. Um, Things are getting bigger every Mm -hmm. year. (laughs) They're always getting bigger. So we're working on bigger tools, more efficient. Um, The torque values required on some of those bolts are just growing exponentially. So we're trying to keep up with that regard as well as um, create smarter tools, tools that are ready to adapt into industry 4.0 environments that are capturing all of the data and even um, using some closed loop feedbacks to make sure that they're operating um, effectively themselves. And they can determine that and communicate that to the uh, operator and the customer. Mm -hmm. Now, safety is a concern in any trade. And and like you said, with things getting bigger and bigger, how has Rad Torque addressed this topic within within wind? Yes, Um, yeah, things are getting bigger and bigger. And as the tools get bigger, they get harder to hold, harder to manage. Um, so there, we have a plethora of accessories specifically just for hanging tools, holding tools in certain positions, um, just to make the, the ergonomics of the use and the, the weight essentially a lot easier on the operators. Um, beyond that, beyond the weight of the tool, the, uh, the biggest um, kind of danger with most power tools is accidental operations. So we make sure that there are either software or mechanical safety is in place to prevent an operator from accidentally hitting a trigger when he's just trying to align the tool, uh, making sure that there's, the tool does not move unless, uh, unless it's actually performing the job it needs to do. Gotcha. What kind of maintenance is required for these tools? Like is, is calibration involved? Yes, um, these are a, a fairly complex tool, uh, <laughs> a pretty complex drivetrain uh, that does require calibration. Calibration is a, is a tough topic. We recommend that the, uh, the tools are calibrated yearly or after 20 to 25,000 cycles. Um, but every customer's use case is a bit different, right? Um, beyond calibration, maintenance is only really required when calibration breaks down. Um, and that's either calibration is gonna break down or the tool will actually tell you if it's an electronic tool that something is wrong, that maintenance is required. But the, that, those cases are uh, few and far between. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. How is Rad Torque planning on continuing to support the wind industry moving forward? We are working directly with some of the bigger players uh, in the wind industry to make sure that our development um, of our product line, whether it be our audit tools or our torque tools, um, are in line with how they are progressing. So uh, as we see a huge push toward data-driven manufacturing, Industry 4.0 coming out of Europe and Asia, um, those standards are very important to us moving forward, and uh, we're working directly with GE with, um, and Entercon and other big manufacturers to make sure that we're providing the features that they are going to require in the next five to ten years. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Brian, for your time and letting us get to know Red Torque. Of course. All right. You've just heard an exclusive Manufacturer Spotlight podcast interview for Wind Power Engineering and Development. Make sure to check out our website, windpowerengineering.com, for even more great content related to the North American wind power market.